whole numbers. One way of looking at whole numbers is to think about placing marbles in a jar. Each time a marble is dropped in a jar, we are doing addition. You are finding a total or the amount of marbles in that jar by counting each one that goes in. A number line allowed us to think of addition in a new way, in addition to adding the marbles in a jar. Um, this number line below shows only integers. Now remember, integers are positive numbers, negative numbers, and zero. So here we have positive numbers here to the right, zero, and then negative numbers to the left. But remember that once we move to the operation of division, this led to a new set of numbers called fractions. Fractions are the result when you ask questions like 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 3, 2 divided by 3, 1 divided by a million, really anything that doesn't divide evenly. Because remember, if we're saying 1 divided by 2, that's like asking the question, if I divided 1 into 2 equal pieces, what will be the size of each piece? So the answer to this question is, cannot be found in the integers. We needed new numbers and that's where fractions came into place. That's what we call them. There, there are an infinite number of fractions between each pair of integers since the space between any two integers can be divided by as large a number as you can imagine. So on the next slide, a few are shown, but in reality, there are as many fractions between any pair of integers as there are integers. Fractions can be written as the ratio of two numbers, so instead of thinking it as a division, you can think of it also as a ratio, such as negative 2 over 3, negative 1 over 4, negative 1 over 8, 1 third, 4 over 5, 7 over 5, 80 over 4, you can go on and on and on. Or, instead of ratio, you could have it in decimal form by dividing the numerator and the denominator. So you could have... We have here the same ratios, but as decimals, we have negative 0.6 repeating, negative 0.25, negative 0.125, neg uh, 0.3 repeating, 0.8, 1.4, and 20. And I think it's good to clarify that when you have that bar, when I say, for example, 0.3 repeating, that bar means that the pattern repeats forever and ever. There are an infinite number of fractions between each pair of integers, like we said, so here it is on the number line. Now, you just have your normal number line with integers, it's hard to see. So we have to imagine like we're looking and using a magnifying glass to look closely between, for example, we have between 0 and 1 on this number line, so we can locate a few of these fractions. So it's easier to see the location, right, we have our location here, above is they're written as ratios, and then below is decimals. I think it's a little easier to see them when they're in decimal form because it's more clear which integers they're between and closest to. It's a lot easier to see 1.33 uh, rather than 1 over 3, where that would be located. And rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as the ratio of two integers. So this includes fractions. That's the ratio of two numbers, so the ratio of two integers, as well as all the integers themselves, since any integer can be written as a ratio of one of itself and one. Think of the integer two. Well, two can be written as two over one. Negative five can be written as negative five over one. Even the integer zero can be zero over one. Fractions can be written in fraction form or decimal form. And again, it's important to note that rational numbers, when in decimal form, like we said before, we talked about repeating. They could be terminating, such as negative one-half is the same as negative 0 0.5. And there technically are an infinite amount of zeros, but we don't count the zeros, so it's just negative 0.5. Or it could be repeating, such as 1 over 7 and 1 over 3, where they have these patterns. This one is 0 0.142857. That's a re repetition of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 digits, but it still repeats. And you have 0 0.3333 with that repeating 3. So 
there's all these different forms, ratios, decimals of these rational numbers coming off of fractions when you are dividing integers.